Hi, my name is Emily Minter. I'm the camp director at Terrapin Adventures. And this week, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a zip line inside. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what you're gonna need to build your indoor zip line. Firstly, you're gonna need some rope or some string. I used some twine. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that you have plenty of it. You're also gonna need a binder clip. You don't want one that's too small. So one about this size or bigger is gonna be perfect. You're also gonna need a clothespin or a carabiner or some kind of clip that you can put through your binder clip. And lastly, you're gonna need a furry friend or a keychain that's not too heavy that can go down your zip line at the end. So first you're gonna take one end of your twine and you're gonna tie it around something like a chair leg as close to the ground as possible. Double knot it so that it doesn't come undone. Then you're going to take the other side of your twine and tie it up someplace high. You're going to want an angle of about 45 degrees from the top down to the bottom. All right, so now you're going to grab your friend and you're going to take your binder clip and strap him in. I attach mine to the ear. You can use a leg, a tail, an arm, whatever works for you. And then you're going to take your carabiner or your clothespin and you're going to put it through the binder clip so that he hangs like this. And then when you're ready, you can clip him up to the top of your zip line and let go. 